Hi, I'm Sam from Sherpa Tools and today I'm going to show you how to assemble an SPB 500 power barrow. So I've got one right here, I'm just going to open it up and then we're going to lay out all the pieces so we can see what we're dealing with and then I'll start the assembly. So once you've taken all the packaging off of it, you should have something like this. Now, you'll have a few of these. These are important, so keep hold of them. They're not just for the packaging. They're going to be for routing the cables later. So we'll just put them to one side. And what we need are our rear wheels and then two sets of wing nuts and wing bolts. So turn this over. You've got these two points in the frame here. What we're going to do, we're just going to slot these wheels into the shafts until these holes line up. So you've got some holes on the wheels and some holes on here. I just want to go in, line up nicely, and then we're just going to fix them into position. So with the rear wheels secure, now we're going to put this part of the handle onto the main frame. So for that we'll need the two M8 bolts with nylock nuts. Now we need to flip this over and then this handle section just slots in like so and again we're just going to line up these holes So, and then thread the bolts through them. So now that the handles are securely in place, we just need to attach the, uh, the on-off button and speed controller up to the handle here. Now, there are two Phillips head screws in there, so that's all we need, a Phillips head screwdriver. So we just undo these, so we can open up this clasp, and then we're just gonna put it round the handle and reattach them. So you just want to make sure that when you put this on, this wiring is coming underneath so it doesn't foul on the tray. Once we've put that in place, just clamps around the handle there. And then we just put our screws back on. So the next step is where these things from earlier come into place. So these are going to secure your loose dangling wires onto the frame of the power. Just going to quickly do that now. There'll be two more on the frame, so you should have five of these in total. I'm doing this as per the instructions with two the brake cable and three. So next we're just going to put the tipping frame on. So that sits on the barrow like this. And then it's just go over here, but we're going to need to secure them. So we're going to need our M16 bolt and nut, and those we've got a spacer and a spring washer on. So first you need the bolt and the spacer. So spacer goes in first like that, and the bolt goes through, and you want to line that up so it goes all the way through into the frame, like so. Put your spring washer and your nut 
on there. And then we'll just use our socket and our adjustable wrench to nip those up so they're nice and tight. Now, I've done the whole process on one side. It's probably easier for you to fit both bolts and spacers first and then secure them with the nuts and the spring washers. So you want these to be secure but not so tight that the frame can't tip. So you lock your tipping bar using that, so that just puts that in place and now we're just going to put the tray on. Four holes in the tray that line up with these two rear holes and these two front holes. Let's just find them and gently rest the tray on there. And then we're just going to use these four M8 bolts with nylock nuts and cross heads. These are going to go through each of these holes. We're going to put the nuts on underneath to secure them. For these ones at the rear, it might be easier just to tip the frame forward and access them from there. So, just going to talk about the battery pack again briefly. So we've had that on charge while we've been making the barrow. So you've got a 24 volt, 10 amp power battery. So, the LED on the charger indicates whether the battery is charged or not. So while it's still charging, this will be red. When it's fully charged, this will be green. Now, you can leave it plugged in, it's a triple charger. Uh, and in fact, ideally, if you're gonna store the battery for a long time, leave it on triple charge. However, if you don't, charge the battery after every use. You do not want to store a lead acid battery with low charge for long periods. Um, and you also want to store it above freezing. All this is in the manual, but it's important to know. Now, on the battery itself, the battery also has an LED there. That LED does not change colour. All that indicates is that the battery is accepting charge. So, if you're waiting for that to turn green, it will never happen. So, light on charge screen, battery's ready to go. Now we're just going to put the battery in the barrow. So just tip your tray forward, pop the battery in the battery holder here. So you want the black section of the battery pointing towards you, the operator, because that's where the pins plug into. So just pop that in there gently, make sure that's secure. Best practice is to use the provided battery cover. So you put the battery locker on first and that cover sits over there, close that back up, and then turn the barrel on. Then we'll just turn the barrel on. So this is an auto power off switch, so if you leave it, it will eventually turn off, but it's best to just turn it off when you're done. So, now your barrel should be complete. We'll just quickly test it. So, your lever here, is variable speed, so the more you pull it in, the faster the motor goes. And then you just release it to stop, and you've got your brake lever on the other side, which is really more of a parking brake. So put that on, if you pull the lever all the way in, 
and you've got a pin you can push through and leave it set there. That's not going anywhere. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, if you've got any questions, please just let us know. Either email us or, uh, or leave a comment on this video. Uh, really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed as well. And um, yeah, have a lovely day. Enjoy your new barrow.